Well, the music world is mourning the loss of one of rock and roll's unique performers, Meatloaf. The singer's family says that he died last night at age 74, surrounded by friends and loved ones. Meatloaf earned musical immortality more than 40 years ago with the top-selling album, Bat Out of Hell. CBS 13's Vladimir Dutier looks back at Meatloaf's long career and his bigger-than-life musical attitude. With hits like Paradise by the Dashboard Light, Meatloaf was known for fast-talking delivery and physicality on stage that left a mark for generations. In 1977, he released Bat Out of Hell, which would become one of the top-selling albums in history with over 40 million copies sold, cementing Meatloaf's place among the industry's hardest workers, not only in music, but in film. Booting his scene-stealing performance in 1975's cult classic, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Hey! Hey! How you doing? Hey. Overall, he acted in more than 100 shows and movies, including memorable turns in Wayne's World and Fight Club. My name is Bob. Marvin Lee Day was born in 1947 in Dallas. He sang and danced in high school and has said he acquired the nickname Meatloaf as a teenager from a football coach who called him a hunk of meatloaf. After opening for such acts as The Who and Grateful Dead, he eventually relocated to New York City and landed several stage roles. The 90s ushered in a new era of success for Meatloaf with another chart-topping hit, I'd Do Anything for Love. It spent five weeks at number one, earning him his only Grammy nomination and win. I would do Meatloaf is survived by his wife and two daughters. All three were with him when he died.